Greetings, Sao Paulo. My name is Jennifer Groff, and I am the Chief Learning Officer for Lumiar Education, where we're re-engineering the future of learning environments around the world. Prior to Lumiar, I spent much of my career at the MIT Education Arcade, where we study, design, and build game-based learning environments and assessments. I'm very excited you're there today talking about how these incredible technologies can help transform education. I wish I could be there with you in person. But since I couldn't, Ricardo asked that I send a short video talking about some aspects of these technologies. Globally, we're seeing a big shift towards competency-based education. And what that means is, rather than thinking about learners as buckets to be filled with knowledge that they need to memorize and apply on a test, and most of which can also be accessed via a quick click on the internet, that instead we look to these broader skills, abilities, and competencies that they can apply and will need to apply in a broad range of problems, scenario, and contexts, and jobs throughout their lifetime. These are competencies and skills such as critical thinking, communication and collaboration, systems thinking, problem solving, ethics, and more. Game-based learning environments can be really powerful tools to help cultivate these broad competencies. I could stand in the front of a classroom and lecture about critical thinking, but chances are you won't be able to go out and apply that immediately into problems in the real world. Whereas game-based learning environments are curated um, scenarios and environments and worlds that allow learners to have a safe play space to cultivate and apply their growing ability to use these skills and competencies. Not only that, but many of these technologies are also incredible rich data worlds where we can collect data about the learners to better understand how they're cultivating these competencies, what do they need next in their learning journey, and more. Many game-based learning environments are designed to be used as a supplement in the classroom, meaning that they should be used along with a whole range of learning approaches and technologies to help learners cultivate their understanding of an area. We do have examples of where some really incredible teachers have used complex commercial games like civilization and diplomacy um, to create essentially whole instructional units that tackle a wide range of skills and knowledge about the complexities of many aspects of our world. Um, it's about balance and finding the right tool to support your needs. Game-based learning used to be a very expensive um, endeavor because it often required extra bandwidth, specific technologies, some technologies that were quite expensive and specific. Um, but in the last few years, that bar has come down quite a bit because many game-based tools, some really excellent ones, are available online via streaming and really only require the type of access that you would give a learner to access the internet otherwise, so a digital tablet or a laptop. Um, in that way, I think, you know, we absolutely can think about scaling now nationally and globally game-based learning. Um, you know, I, I think in the 21st century, we really need to consider the fact that basic access to digital tools and connection to the internet is, is a fundamental need and right um, to participate in our modern society and world. Um, and so assuming that most school systems are moving in that direction, which is the trend that we see, um, having general access to the internet via a digital tool really does essentially create the opportunity for you also to then engage in game-based learning. Certainly supporting educators to understand how to use these tools effectively in the classroom is critical to the success of game-based learning, as is the case with any instructional innovation. Um, it's not about the tool necessarily, it's really about how you use the tool and how to use it well. Um, games can be really powerful tools for also supporting adult learners, um, be they teachers or anyone else. Um, I know it's a really fantastic project at MIT called the Teaching Systems Lab that builds game-based tools and simulations to help educators grow their practice 
uh, and build the key skills and knowledge they need to use more complex advanced tools in their own classroom. Another one I know of is SimSchool that also builds simulation type scenarios to support uh, educators in growing their practice. Um, for me, I always tell educators Getting formal training is really helpful, but at the same time, you can just begin by playing. That These are playful technologies, and that is the value of them, that they create playful learning scenarios. And just as you would watch an eight-year-old jump onto a new game that you bought them at the store, um, we encourage educators to do the same. Just start playing, exploring, being curious about how this might be a really powerful tool for learners in your classroom. And don't be afraid to ask your learners. You'd be surprised what they'll show you, too.